kitchen accidents involve falls than any other kind of mishap. Learn how to prevent falls. Nobody has to be the fall guy. But we all realize that safety is everybody's job. What's the most dangerous object in this kitchen? This? No. This? No. This? No. According to accident statistics, the most dangerous object in the kitchen is the floor. Take a closer look. Over there, for example, a grease spot. And there, an onion peel. There, a freshly mopped area with no warning signs around it. This floor is as dangerous as a minefield. The floor of a busy kitchen can be deceptively deadly. Just because we take it so much for granted, the floor is the greatest cause of falling accidents. And it's all so unnecessary. The mishaps can't always be blamed on the floor itself. Proper footwear will prevent many spills. Flat heels for women, always. And for the men, rubber heels that are in good condition. Floors can be safe and dependable if everyone follows a few simple rules. First, if you drop something, pick it up. And that means anything you drop. Even a pencil can be a booby trap to some poor, unsuspecting guy or gal. Small, gritty particles such as sugar, sand, or gravel, they can put the skids under the best of men. That's right, you spilled it, you clean it up. If you spill grease, don't wait for the next guy. Take a piece of towel or burlap and wipe it up immediately. That's the second rule of floor safety. Wipe it up. Then sprinkle salt over the area to provide traction. For quick mop-up jobs, keep some soap in the mop pail ready for use. Whenever mopping is done, and whoever does it, follow the directions for the proper amount of soap to be used. These directions are usually printed on the container. Always mop with warm, soapy water to soak up dirt and grime. But don't forget, always mark the wet area with a sign big enough to be seen. Always dry mop immediately, removing all the excess soap and water. And watch for those low spots where puddles can form. Rule number three for floor safety, report all hazards to the management. Hazards such as piping or conduits running across traffic areas or invitations to disaster. Another big danger spot, stairways. If you're carrying a load, always make sure you can see your feet. And whenever possible, use the handrails provided. Stairways should always be properly lit but lights are useless unless you turn them on. So far we have listed two of the danger areas where falls most often take place, floors and stairways. Now the third place is, hey, wait, if you must climb up, get a ladder. The third place where falls occur is in climbing. And a few simple rules can prevent ladder accidents from happening. First, make sure you have the right ladder for the job. Be sure it's strong enough and long enough. If it has grown weak with age or has been damaged with use, be sure to report it to the management. Check to make sure the last man to use it hasn't left something behind. It only takes a second to make sure the ladder is placed securely. Test it with your weight. 
as a last precaution, look around to make sure you're not climbing near a door that might swing open while you're aloft. Place the ladder so that it brings you close to the place where you have to work. That's why you've climbed up there in the first place. In other words, follow the rules for ladder safety. Why should you be the fall guy? These are the places where falling accidents most often happen. The floor, the stairs, and in climbing. They all seem harmless enough in themselves. But when the action starts, it's a different story. starts. If your kitchen is a minefield full of booby traps, it's too late. Now, while things are more or less normal, while you've got a little time to think, now is the time to realize that safety is everybody's job. Mm -hmm.